Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over.
for our reflection time during these Advent Wednesdays. Um, each week there will be a reading from the previous Sunday's set of lessons. There will be a set of three reflection questions. The first one will always be the same. What words, phrases, images spoke to you as you were hearing the scripture read? The next two questions will change a little bit as we go through the four weeks, and I will share those with you. So our pattern will be that I will read the scripture text, I will share with you the three questions, and then ask you to pause and reflect on the three questions. Uh, you may want to get a journal and take some notes um, on, on these reflection times. You may want to close your eyes and um, do a little bit of guided imagery as we go. Uh, but that will be our pattern um, for these, this reflection time. May our prayers come before you of God as incense and may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. The scripture reading for this first Wednesday in Advent comes to us from the Gospel of Mark. Be aware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his slaves in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to be on the watch. Therefore, keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cock crow, or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. This is the word of the Lord. The, the three re reflection questions, what word, image, or phrase stands out for you in this reading? What will you watch and pray about this Advent? What will help you stay awake? So some reflections on those questions. What word, image, phrase, stands out for you in this reading. There's surely some Advent words there. Be awake, keep alert, keep awake. There's an image of a man going on a journey and leaving others in charge. Maybe that's Jesus having ascended into heaven uh, and having left us with some work to do. Um, until he comes again. There's a phrase there, evening, midnight, cock crow. Does that conjure up for you another image of a night in the courtyard on Maundy Thursday when Peter says three times, I did not, do not know the man. Listen again to the reading. Be aware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his slaves in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to be on the watch. Therefore, keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come in the evening or at midnight or at cock crow, or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Oh, I live for God is with me. 
Let us pray. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, 
Give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial. Deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. <laughs>